Hypothetical situation seven. You are confronted with four out of control horses pulling a wagon over a cliff. There's a rescue we haven't had. Yet. Do you A, tell the sheriff, B, unhitch the wagon, or C, stop reading that book. Heatwave, I am merely attempting to make sure we are prepared for any rescue eventuality. We've handled plenty of weird rescues together. It would take an awful lot to phase our team. That's Optimus Prime's alert. Optimus, sir. Rescue Team Sigma-17 awaiting orders. This mission is for you alone, Heatwave. You have proven yourself ready for a new responsibility. It is time you grow into the leader you were meant to be. Thank you, sir. But my team... ...will stay on Griffin Rock while you meet me at a secret mainland facility. Come immediately. I will send coordinates. But, sir, I... Consider our team phased. Hey, here it is, Dad. <sighs> it's about time we got Grandpa's Zachary cleaned up. <sighs> Framer said they could even restore this old wood. I still don't get why Dr. Morocco gave us this picture. Seems too... nice. Right? Especially after he tried to steal the rest of Great Gramps' ship. Well, I'm glad we have this. Whatever Morocco's motivation was. Finally! A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's been a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Robots with personalities. Now this is positively riveting. Permission granted, Heatwave. What's this about? I'm uh, not sure, sir. I don't even know how long I'll be gone. When do you have to go, Heatwave? I'm probably already late. But, hey, I might have time to take you to school on the way. We'll all come. I need to drop this off downtown anyhow. Emotions, a sense of beauty. I know humans with less. If that artificial intelligence programming is as advanced as it appears, this begs a little hands-on research. Remember, if you need me, call me on my comm. Chase, you're in charge while I'm gone. Boulder, keep an eye on Cody for me. And Blades, don't stay up late watching horror movies. I won't be around to help you hunt zombie hamsters. That was one time. <sighs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. Heatwave, you have prepared us for every eventuality. Except, of course, the runaway wagon. We'll be fine. Right, I know. But if you're not, call me on my comm. What's up, Doc? Not wascally wabbits, I'm afraid. There appears to be a strange storm front moving toward the island at an alarming rate. Images from my weather balloon show what looks like a tornado. We have to warn the island. Griffin Rock's not equipped to handle that kind of weather. I have a new invention that may be able to untwist that twister, if you can spare Danny and Blades. Team, we have a real emergency. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Optimus will understand if I'm a little late. Sir, it appears the tornado is getting closer. Get into the basement, now! Wait, Kate, look! Go inside, Cody, we'll take care of it. Hey, who wants a free ride in a fire truck? Huh, come on! Get us out of here! 
I'm trying. <clears throat> Back, Boulder! The storm's too strong! Good thing I'm stronger! Power up and energize! I know I'm no weather expert, but shouldn't we be flying away from the tornado? Actually, we need to get even closer. When we're directly above it, we drop this, the Tornade Don't, my own personal invention. Inside the twister, this canister will explode and change the charge of the storm's particles, stopping it cold. Or it should. I've been hoping to test it. Test it? Don't mind if I do. <sighs> It's a good thing you came through for us, Doc. That tornado would have caused some serious damage. It seemed like suddenly it just appeared without any warning. That's the odd part. I want a closer look at that weather data. We'll take you back to the lab. No need, Heatwave. You have somewhere more important to be. <sighs> Remember, if you need me, call, call you on, on your calm. calm. This is it. Time to get out. Uh, no. I'm coming along. Kate, Optimus didn't invite you. Well, someone's gotta drive. Besides, I thought old OP was big on bots working with humans. <sighs> Fine. Just don't embarrass me, all right? Hi, son. School get out early? Yeah, our teacher was kinda jumpy after the tornado. Then this would knock her knee socks off. That storm manifested out of a clear blue sky. Like magic. No, like science. Doesn't that blue beam remind you of something? The weather machine! Hmm. It appears ours is still on the best left forgotten shelf. Yours? You mean there are others? A prototype may have been created first. Let's see. Yes! My records show that an early version of the weather machine should have been delivered here in 1966. But it never arrived. 1966? That's the year Great Grandpa's ship was lost. The last person to have access to the tech aboard it was... Dr. Morocco. Well, this is disappointing. Apparently, a tornado just isn't enough to cause an island-wide evacuation anymore. It seems I must do something a bit more to squeeze him. I do hope no one's flying a kite. Shaking bacon. Sir, my partner insisted on accompanying me to. Nothing much, Double Dutch. I too have learned from humans. I have summoned you here because you have proven yourself worthy for the next step in Rescue Bot's leadership a third form. Preparation for your rescan will require tremendous energy and concentration, but I am certain you are prepared for the ordeal. Thank you, sir. Um, a little lost here. What is the ordeal exactly? Look, I have two forms, right? Bot and fire truck. But now I can scan a new vehicle and change into that as my third mode. Oh, 
Oh, pick something fast and convertible. Haley would love that. Or a jet. We'd fly circles around, Danny. Hey, hey, what about a train? Gee, why stop there? What about a space shuttle? Sometimes you do not choose the vehicle. The vehicle chooses you. And there will be plenty of time for that later once you learn to harness the energy within. First, you must reach into your spark to find inner strength. If Dr. Morocco truly does have a weather machine, I bet you all the powers of 10 in Avogadro's number that he'll use it again. Boom. Sounds like he already has. That doesn't look like any setting on the weather machine. No doubt Morocco souped up the technology. And not a good soup like chicken noodle. Chase, are you all right? Yes, sir. But I do not wish to attempt such an encounter again. Perhaps we should take shelter. The communications tower! <laughs> Comms are out. Phones must be, too. Doc, I'm declaring this a full-scale emergency. Good thing Boulder and Graham reinforced the sanctuary caverns. I already sent Frankie to the caves with supplies. And as many board games as she could carry. But, Dad... Don't we have to stop Dr. Morocco? First, we have to make sure everyone's safe, son. I still can't reach Dad. Any luck with Heatwave? No answer. But we know what he would say. Protect the humans. Dad would tell us to follow protocol. That means getting everyone we can to the sanctuary caves under Mount Griffin. Ah! Heatwave will be sad he missed this. Take the tunnels to the caves. Tell everybody you see. Boulder! Over here! Climb aboard. That should be enough to keep the Burns family busy for so days. Which makes it a ducky time for a visit. Is he supposed to do that? Yes. It is a normal part of the energy focusing process. Okay. Because if anything happens to him... Your concern does you justice. I can see why Heatwave cherishes your partnership. He... he said that? Not in so many words. <sighs> I feel like Boulder ran me over. You're gonna be fine, buddy. Buddy? Uh, did something happen while I was out? Heatwave, you have successfully focused your energy for a rescan. I am impressed. Few succeed on their first try. Thank you, sir. Oh! Easy. You will be weak until you fully recover. But you may scan your new vehicle mode whenever you find the one that is right. How neighborly. An open door. No security system, but trusting. dealing with amateurs. Incredible! This technology is even more advanced than the robots. But where on earth did the Burns family find it? Sigma-17 ship log. Rescue bots reporting. We are departing Cybertron on a routine patrol to the Quintessa Quadrant. Not on earth at all. Danny. Where's Graham? Right behind us with the Rubios. 
Thank goodness. Now everyone's accounted for. Nice work, team. But how'd you know I'd implement the sanctuary plan? Communications were down, so we just followed procedure. It looks like we're dealing with a weather machine. According to Doc's calculations, it's out in the ocean at these coordinates. We'll take the Darby Ava. Careful coming aboard, team. This isn't swimming weather. Didn't you hear the forecast? 100% chance of fire. Long day to lose our firefighters. Heatwave, does that look like smoke to you? Better call Chief just in case. Dad's not picking up. Heatwave to Sigma 17. Come in, rescue bots. I'll try the ferry's radio. <laughs> Captain Shaw, is something wrong? Aye. I can't erase the harbor master by phone or radio, and the dock is covered in flames. We have to get back to the island, now. Can't this rust bucket go any faster? Not in this part of the sea. Boneyard of shipwrecks lies below us. We put on any speed, we're likely to join them. Uh, some leader I am. Stuck out here when my team needs me most. Maybe we can hitchhike on a faster boat. There's one. A swamped fireboat. You're kidding, right? How is it supposed to help us down there? It doesn't look damaged. Besides, sometimes the vehicle chooses you, remember? See you, Cap'n. We're catching another ride. Something's not right about those Burns kits. Changing into a boat and see how well you do. Uh, well, that's the horn. Let's see what this one does. No, oh, Daddy! Good job. Thanks for the save. Where'd you get the boat? The boat has a name. And you're welcome. Heatwave? How is it possible? I'm clearly missing something here. Heatwave, we owe you one. But now, you need to go shut off the weather machine causing this. It's just east of the 49th buoy. On my way. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, still getting the hang of this. I 
this new form. What do you think, Cade? I think I'm getting seasick. So how exactly does rescanning work? I mean, say hypothetically, a bot didn't want to fly anymore. It's not easy. I had to get Optimus's permission first. And I'm still exhausted, even with his help. Sorry, Blades. What made you think I was talking about me? <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? The framing shop found something strange while they were restoring Grandpa's picture. A camera was hidden inside. Whoa. Morocco was spying on us? How much do you think he saw? That is not our only concern. The rogue was in our classified bunker. I have not yet cataloged all that is missing, but it is certain that things were stolen. The weather disasters must have been a plan to keep us busy. So, if Dr. Morocco knows our secret, what's his next move? I will no longer be focusing on upgrading my morbots. However, I now have access to the most advanced technology the world has ever seen. And it can be yours <laughs> for an appropriate fee. Fried chicken, salad, lemonade, and our very own private shady spot. Thanks, Cody. No problem, sis. I don't get it. If Danny likes Taylor, why does she make him eat her potato salad? I think that's her meatloaf. What was that? Well, sorry, Taylor. Picnic's over. Robot copter mode! I'll call the team. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Not so close! Do you see what that thing does to metal? Dad, it's headed toward the docks! Boulder, follow me. We'll cut it off. Smash it! Stop! That device is irreplaceable! Uncle Woodrow? <sighs> Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow! Why didn't you tell us you were coming? I can't believe it's you! Uncle? Human term for sibling of a parent. In this case... Chief's brother! Chief didn't tell us who's coming to visit. Or that he existed. Wonderful. Now, I'll answer your questions. Just let me look at you a second. Cody, you've grown a foot. Now you'll need three socks. <laughs> Did you kids get my postcards from Dwarma? Or the scorpions I sent from Ecuador? Um, never got those. Oh, I thought I sent them. May have forgotten. Gee, imagine that. Woodrow, this, uh... Floating menace belongs to you. Good to see you too, big brother. Come here, give me a decent hello. <gasps> uh, okay, Woody, uh, okay. Oh, high-grade titanium, laser drill, self-propulsion, and sonar tracking? That's quite a device, Uncle Woodrow. <laughs> yeah, it's my deep earth stout. Designed to drill underground and collect data. And you won't believe what it found. This is it, Charlie. What I've been looking for my whole life. Evidence that aliens may have visited the Earth centuries ago. Well, don't everybody get all excited at once. 
We're happy for you, Uncle Woodrow. It's, it's only that... I just wish your homecoming had been a little less destructive. Hmm, sorry, Charlie. The DES must have accidentally activated when I was getting off the ferry. <sighs> Speaking of machines, ho oh, oh, ho, looks like you still have the best toys. Where on earth did you get these guys, Charlie? Uh, they're rescue robots. Uh, State-of-the-art emergency stuff. Watch what they can do, Uncle Woodrow. Robots, vehicle mode. Whoa, -ho -ho! impressive. Hey, what's the mileage like? <laughs> now, Woodrow, you... Hey, what's for dinner? Oh. All right, go easy, Woodrow. This is not Dad's old jalopy. Well, that's Uncle Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow is an archaeologist, sort of, and an inventor, sometimes. He's been around the world a lot, I think. He doesn't seem anything like the Chief. Yeah, look at me and Graham. Would you ever think a guy like me could have a brother like him? Come here, you! Uh, Cade! <laughs> I'm sure he meant it in a nice way. All my research has convinced me. Pictographs, pyramids, Stonehenge. They're alien artifacts, every one of them. But uh, you kids probably don't believe in aliens, do you? I'm willing to consider the evidence. Nope. I, I no wouldn't way. say that we don't. Sit down and eat, Charlie. Dinner doesn't serve itself. Somebody has to cook and clean up. Well, that's good old Charlie. Uh, nose to the grindstone. Say, pass the potatoes, will you? Then I'll show you what my DES found. I don't get it. Why is Chief's brother so eager to find an alien anyway? I know! With all the amazing things humans have on their own planet, why bother searching for... us? Because we're awesome? But who sent scorpions as gifts? No thank you. Who knows? Maybe he brought some scorpions along with him. <laughs> Very funny. All I know is Woodrow Burns forced me to drive over the speed limit and I was helpless to stop him. Now, most people look for aliens in outer space. But my research made me realize we should be looking in inner space, underneath the Earth. So, I built and dispatched six DES spheres to gather data from all across the planet. Five of the devices are still out there somewhere gathering data. But this baby uncovered all the evidence I need right in my old hometown. Well, under it. A cavern containing proof of a lost alien civilization. Housing structures. Looks like rock formations to me. Communication signals. Or water dripping. Even aliens themselves. Shadows on the wall. That's the difference between us, Charlie. I'm curious to know for sure. So, I'm gonna borrow the town's old forger. You remember, we found it when we were kids, down where the tunnels end. That giant driller? It hasn't been used in years. I think I can get it running. Then I follow the coordinates the DES brought back, and I'll finally have my proof. That is awesome! Hey, you can come with me, Cody. Alia, a once-in-a-lifetime journey to the center of the Earth. Oh, wow. Sign me up. Sounds great. Woodrow, my family can't just drop everything and go off on some spur-of-the-moment expedition. Especially... Especially with me, right? Give us a minute, will you, kids? You've always been the dreamer of the family. I get that. But you never see one dream through before you're off chasing another. Charlie, that's not... Like when we were kids. I'd have to put out the fires you started with your bottle rockets, and you'd already be off building a flying bicycle. Well, not all of my expeditions have gone well, I'll give you that. But this time, with you and the kids along to keep me focused... We're not going, Woodrow. And you can't borrow the tunnel forger. That's the end of it. Sorry, kids.
The human-sibling relationship appears to be a complex one. Don't bots have brothers or sisters? Nope. We're all on our own. Lucky. But it must get kind of lonely. There. I wasn't sure at first, but... You were right to contact me, Heatwave. So that blue crystal is... Energon. A new supply that could benefit all Autobots for years to come. Heatwave, prepare your team. I will be arriving in the morning. And then, we go underground. Dad, where's Uncle Woodrow? Must have gone out early. Who knows where? I might have an idea. Looks like you were right, Cody. Wait here, okay, Boulder? Uncle Woodrow! Uncle Woodrow, what are you doing? Well, I recharged the power cells. Now I just have to enter the coordinates for the cavern, and the forger can start digging. But my dad... Your dad thinks my expeditions are harebrained. That I don't think things through. No offense, Uncle Woodrow, but I'm not sure that stealing the forger is the best way to prove him wrong. <laughs> You're probably right, Cody. But you have big brothers. You know how a nod from them is the nicest feeling in the world. I just want to show your dad that I'm capable of doing something he can be proud of. What's happening? The cells must have surged. We're on autopilot. Seventy miles per hour at a forty degree angle. No way I'll catch them. Graham, come in, Graham. Nice rig. The transport is for carrying Energon to the surface. Once the rescue bots and I harvest it from underground. We'd like to help you if we can. I do not wish to endanger your family, Chief. Great. Yet another trip to the center of the Earth we won't be making. But we will require the coordinates your brother found. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Woodrow's kind of uh, disappeared. Heatwave! Chief! Optimus, thank goodness. Chief, Cody and your brother. The Forger took off tunneling with them inside. Then let's roll to the... We'd never reach it, Heatwave. It has too much of a head start. It appears our mining expedition is now a rescue mission for the entire team. Rescue bots, vehicle mode, then on to my transport. No offense, Optimus, but how can you pulling us on a trailer be any faster than going ourselves? Let's just say there is more to this transport than meets the eye. We're nearing the coordinates. Should be leveling off. Oh, the controls aren't working. My brothers are always telling me not to press strange buttons, but I think that might be... The kill button. Go for it! Get out, Uncle Woodrow, before we're buried! Whatever that 
that means, I agree. This looks like the place your DES photographed. Yep, we're smack dab where we're supposed to be. But, no way back. My dad will launch a rescue mission. He probably already has. Cody, no one even knows we're down here. Who's gonna tell them? Your bulldozer? Chief Burns, I suggest you and your family hold on to something. What? He's Optimus Prime. Relax. Statistically speaking, that maneuver should not have worked. Uncle Woodrow, over here! Huh. Must be the tunnel the DES dug on its exploratory mission. So it should lead to the surface, right? Even if we could reach it, it's too small to fit through. Wait. I've seen that before. The alien housing structure. Oh, your dad was right. It's just a rock formation. <laughs> and there's my alien communication signal. Uncle Woodrow, that doesn't mean we won't find other proof. You never know. There just might be aliens after all. <laughs> yeah. They found us! I told you they would! I'm not so sure. worse <laughs> that new robot impressive on earth were you thinking? Didn't I tell you- It wasn't his fault, Dad. The Forger just took off and- No, Cody. Your dad's right. It's my fault for sneaking off on this goose chase. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry for that. Well, thank you, Woodrow. Apology accepted. The worst part is, the entire trip was pointless. No lost civilization, no signs of alien life. You're right, Charlie. I've wasted my whole life just chasing shadows. As soon as we get to the surface, I'll head home and get out of your family's hair. Why is he talking about hair? A metaphor? I'll explain later. But Uncle Woodrow, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. But I have to face it. Atlantis, Shangri-La, no such things. And aliens have never visited because they don't exist. What? He is family, Dad. I can't let him go on thinking he's failed. I mean, if it were Cade, I'd try to cheer him up. Maybe. Tell him, Dad. Tell me what? 
Woodrow, little brother, I don't know about Shangri-La or Atlantis, but I can tell you as a point of fact, aliens do exist. You don't have to do this, Charlie. It doesn't make me feel any better. Well, maybe this will. Team, introduce yourselves. Heatwave, pleased to meet you. My name is Chase, and I am proud to be your brother's policing partner. Boulder. Blades. And now that I can speak freely, can I just say how terrifying those spiders were? Not gonna fall for it. I am Optimus Prime. And Chief Burns is correct. To the people of Earth, we are aliens. Our home planet of Cybertron is most likely unknown to you. We'd tell you what galaxy it's in, but you haven't heard of that either. I was right. I was right! I just... I just... My DES worked! Charlie! It found aliens! I just never figured you'd be the one hiding them. So, you guys, Cyber Knights! Cybertronians. Right. You've been leaving artifacts on Earth for what, like centuries? That is a long story for another day. Oh, I knew it! Well, thanks, Charlie, for trusting me with your secret. Like Graham said, we're all family. And that's what family does. They also do this. <laughs> Stop it, Charlie! <laughs> this gesture appears to be universal in sibling relations. Let's get to work, team. We have some energon to harvest. Everyone, watch it! Get this. Remember how my Uncle Woodrow wanted to search for aliens at the center of the Earth? Well, things didn't exactly go as planned. We got trapped underground. And when my family, the bots, and even Optimus Prime came to rescue us, the cavern collapsed and everyone got separated. <laughs> now Dad, Uncle Woodrow, Chase, and I are stuck down here and separated from the others. If you get this message, Doc, Please send help, fast. Oh, come on, I set your GPS coordinates for Doc Green's lab, now get going! Sorry, son. It was a good idea, but satellite tech won't work this deep underground. Comlinks either. Well, we'll just have to find the rest of the family using only our wits and courage. It's an adventure. It's irresponsible, which is why I was against this subterranean joyride to begin with. You know, Charlie, you'll never learn anything if you don't leave the island once in a while. I don't need to get burned to know that fire is hot. Speaking of which, sir, I seem to have... But apparently I need to tunnel underground to discover my brother is living with aliens. Ahem. Chief, I am sorry to say... Discover? I told you! Yeah, it took you long enough. Dad, look! Moldy guacamole. Actually, I believe it is lava. And it's blocking our only way out. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You say they were poking the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect.
must have tapped into one of Mount Magma's tunnels. Chase, vehicle mode. Woody, Cody, inside. Are you aliens lava proof? Unfortunately, no. However, all rescue bots are trained for emergency evacuation procedure. He means tighten your seatbelt. Cat's pajamas! I was unaware that Mr. Pettipaws had sleeping attire. It's an expression, Chase. Uncle Woodrow is impressed. Let's save the congratulations until we're out of danger and we've located the others. Oh, Charlie. Can't you ever just enjoy the moment? Not when I'm trying to keep my family safe. Chase, can you jump it? Negative, and this may be an opportune time to mention that motion sickness bags may be found in my center console. Power up and energize. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Woodrow. Riding in bots takes some getting used to. Was that maneuver worthy of feline night clothing? Absolutely, Chase. I just hope we haven't strayed too far away from the rest of the team. How far down do you think that goes? I have no desire to find out. Heatwave, I have been impressed with your accomplishments on Griffin Rock. Thank you, sir. My team has learned a lot working with our human partners. Are you still interested in joining my ranks on the mainland? We would be honored. I need to ask the other bots first, but... I am only inviting you. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, you asked me to lead my team. If I leave them behind, I'm not only failing them, but you as well. That is what I hoped you would say. Leadership requires placing others' needs in front of your own ambitions. I am pleased you have learned that, Heatwave. Uh, thanks, I think. It appears you have set some form of machinery in motion. A volcano. Oh, the shaft must be part of Mount Magma. The humans made it. Don't ask me why. Likely the same logic that went into the pogo stick. Look. Daylight. This lever must have opened the top of the volcano. We can climb out of it. Now all that remains is finding the rest of your team and returning with them to this spot. Which passage should we attempt first? Cody taught me how humans decide. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo, try over here, Boulder. Nope, this wall is solid rock too. I could have told you that by looking at it. <sighs> Face it, Graham, we're stuck in here. Well, if we have to be stuck, at least it's in this place with magical glowing walls. Uh, Blades, that's fungus. Ew! Get it off! Get it off! You know, Dad's probably searching for the rest of the team by now. He'll find us. An optimist will get us out. What makes you think they aren't all trapped, too? <clears throat> there! My sonic imaging detects a hollow chamber on the other side of this surface. Good job, Boulder. Yes, yeah, super helpful. Except for the solid rock wall in the way. We're engineers. We make doors. Ready, Boulder? You might want to cover your ears. Fire in the shovel. <laughs> Tickles. Whoa. Incredible. Hmm, high saline content. This is seawater. But how can it be part of the ocean? We're underground. Seismic activity changes the landscape over time. 
This water must have gotten trapped down here millions of years ago. That's not the only thing that was trapped. <gasps> A pterodactyl! Amazing! Um, Fascinating. Huh? Great. So I guess Boulder sonar doesn't detect dinosaurs. Technically, that's a flying lizard. Technically, we're lunch. It hasn't seen us yet. Blades, let's do some recon. I think I see another tunnel across the water. Um, you want me to get in the air when there's a terror doctor up there? Pterodactyl, and we'll fly low. Almost there, Blades. I have to admit, it does feel nice to stretch my rotors. Bro! Blades! Get higher, now! Daddy! No! Blades! Side vacation spot, a bad review. Negative five stars. We need to find a safer cavern. No, whoa, wait. How do you know there are not even bigger dinosaurs looking for a fight on the other side of that wall? Just, just turn off your sonic doohickey, unless you can use it to find Dad. Maybe we can. If I adjust my sound waves to compensate for the rock's frangibility... And we use the natural cavern acoustics to boost amplitude... Is that what it sounds like to everyone else when we talk? Yeah, with more pop culture references. So, you aliens don't sleep. Now, do you eat? Uh, uh, not as humans do. Well, that answers my next question. Hold up! I don't want us getting any more lost than we already are. Chase? You stay with Cody and Woodrow. I'll take a rope and scout ahead. I'll help. It'll go faster if we search two passages at once. No. I don't need you running off and playing Explorer. <sighs> Is this about the time you got lost in the forest? I was rescuing you. Who said I wanted to be rescued? You did. You called me on the walkie-talkie. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. You crazy. I remember. I am confused. I thought Chief had reconciled his differences with his brother. It's like me and Cade. We don't always agree, but blood is thicker than water. I was unaware that fluid viscosity was involved. It just means that deep down, brothers would do anything for each other. Perhaps you should remind them of that fact. And don't get me started about the time you stole my stopwatch. Borrowed! Hey, Burns family! You can argue once we're all safe above ground, but now we need to work together to get there. You're right, son. Sorry we got so sidetracked. Pinky truce? <laughs> Pinky truce. I am happy to hear that your blood is thick, sir. Whoa! Is it an earthquake? It almost sounds like drumming. Morse code. Hurry, it's coming from over here. Transport. Help me pull it free. What in the all spark? <laughs> energon. A deposit of energon this rich is invaluable. I only wish we had found it under more positive circumstances. That sounds like Boulder. 
Dad! We're coming down! Woodrow, be careful. That rock doesn't look very strong. <laughs> it's fine, Charlie. Don't be such a worry wart. If due caution defines a wart, I am proud to be one. Yeah, you know what they say about curiosity and the cat. Did it involve pajamas? We agreed to stick together from now on, remember? I know, I'm sorry. B but there's nothing to be afraid of. Extinction is no excuse for ignoring the law. Chief, take shelter. The pterodactyl has him pinned down. We have to distract it. Blades, what are you doing? You're hurt. You can't fly high enough to save them. I know, but I can fly high enough to get someone who will. Hey! Big bird! Ah! Ah! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, she wouldn't go where you go, those dinosaurs. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Next time, can we go to Hawaii for our family trip? Blades, that was noble! How'd you know the fish could get the pterodactyl to leave us alone? I was inspired by Uncle Woodrow. Yeah. Ever since he arrived, Chief's been so busy fighting with him, they ignore everything else. Oh, not exactly a compliment. No, but a fair observation. Now what, a triceratops? Heatwave, you're okay! I mean, uh, hey. We received your signal. Is everyone safe? For the time being. <laughs> the sooner we can get home, the better. Then follow us, Chief. We found the way out. And a lot more. Wow. Ooh, wow. Shiny. Oh, goodness. Amazing. Oh, no. Sufficiently impressive. Incredible. So, this is all pure Generon? Energon. It is the fuel and lifeblood that flows within us. Isn't it a little solid for that? This is unrefined energon. And in this state, it is highly combustible. Maybe we'd better keep moving. Yeah, where's this way out you promised us? Hope you like volcanoes. Even inside the bots, climbing this shaft could take days. Days? What are we supposed to do about food? Cave dwellers often live on blind grubs. They're quite nutritious. Get stuck in your teeth, though. Ooh, lovely. We need fresh water, too. Danny, what about blades? Well, he can't get much hike with a damaged rotor. So, so we're, we're stuck down here? Sir, we will not allow any harm to come to your family. There has to be another way to the surface. Maybe Graham and I can create some sort of catapult device. It's too bad we can't just blast out of the volcano like lava. Blast! Yes! A giant bottle rocket! <laughs> like we made when we were kids, remember, Charlie? We ignite the energon, then boom! We ride a platform up like a rocket-powered elevator. Will that actually work? Theoretically. 
Optimus, I hate to have to ask you to waste so much Energon. Chief Burns, Energon is replaceable. Human lives are not. First, we'll need to build a platform across this shaft, then plant a fuse and seal the other passages. All right, let's move it, team! Sometimes Uncle Woodrow's pretty amazing, huh, Dad? All the time. But uh, don't tell him I said that. Ready, Woodrow? Just like old times, Charlie. On my signal. One, two, three. Stuff. Someone got that on camera. Woodrow? Oh, <sighs> the old creaky floorboard. <laughs> Gets me every time. Where are you running off to? I thought you were planning to stay the week. Go fishing, catch up. I was, Charlie. But all we saw, aliens, prehistoric creatures, Energon. It made me realize there's so much out there to explore. I can't waste any more time here. Like I am? No, I didn't say that. You're an incredible father and a great police chief. If I could be those things, <laughs> I would. But I'm an adventurer, and you're... An adventurer's brother. <laughs> you be careful, Woodrow. And the next time you're in Maine, we'll have dinner waiting for you. Uncle Woodrow? Why didn't he say goodbye, Dad? That's Woodrow's way, Cody. But he's never really gone. We just keep him in a different spot. I am pleased with your progress, Sigma-17. Continue your mission. Heatwave. Heatwave? You have grown into a strong leader. I believe you are ready for greater responsibilities. Sir? Be prepared when the time comes. 